Alright, welcome back. The second game of the ITSL, ITS Grand Slam tournament, Los Angeles. And uh, I got away with the win in the first game, first round, by the narrowest possible margin. Uh, now I am facing Michael Stryker in game two. He doesn't need luck, though. But I do. Um, I'm the US, starting off with a very red, red hand, but I do get to control both decol and destall, but they will be recycled because I have blockade. So, I reckon I will try and get rid of them. What else would I do? Um, we've got a CIA. I haven't got anything to stop him from messing with France. I'm going to go for a standard setup. He goes for a 4-5. Someone told me specifically about how Michael Stryker likes to go 4-5 and then headline the goal. Um... We'll see if that's what he does. <clears throat> uh, what do you headline here? I mean, CAA is really my only headline that will do anything, apart from hurt me. Blockade, kind of, as well, is okay. But if he headlines scare, then I'm fudged. Yeah, I think I'm going to go CAA. Yeah, that's what I thought. And now I actually have a chance at realigning him out of France, which is quite nifty. Okay, so he's holding dark. He, he doesn't have a lot of ops either, so that's good. Uh, but a much more manageable hand. He can space for Dell, and then the rest of it just goes on the map. He's holding defectors. That's really good to know. I, I would have found out, probably. Um... Yeah, CNS, so early space would be nice. Okay, do I go for that? For that realign? I think I do. Aha! <laughs> did not expect that, did you? Okay, spreading out. Defcon is at five. Let's not forget. Um, now Defcon is at four, and I need to head into Asia somehow. I've got the war, so and he does not have a. Th three up he does not have a four up so if you if i go into pakistan then he will probably he will have to accept that or he will kill me with the china card he also does not have the korean war so i could go south korea with three but he will kill iran i think so i need to get out of iran let's try Let's try this. And if he gives me the China card, then, you know, that's that's not bad. He didn't really have anything dangerous in his hand, I don't feel like. It's CNS is like the one thing I have to think of, like to, to remember to uh, try and get done quickly. He doesn't know exactly how red my hand is, but I reckon 
I don't think he'll, he's going to. He's not going to space right away, probably. <clears throat> and the timer is at three hours, so I need to remember that it's up by two hours. Okay. No, yeah, that's what he did, right? Makes sense. But then I'm not in a hurry to space. And that because I think I think I'll go into India right away. Mm-hmm. Mm, okay, so... Shift trigger that. Well, I knew he didn't have NATO, so no big deal, but... Should trigger that quicker. Hmm. Thing is, though, so worried about. Um, Milops here. So he's holding. Here comes Fidel. He's holding special defectors and NORAD. Wait, if I'm doing that, I might as well space. Blech. Is he going to coup? No? Yes, maybe. I think he has to, kind of. Yeah. Now this is the question. I don't feel like bringing. I don't feel like bringing Defcon up to four. But at the same time, if I coup, so like to play this for the event. But if I go, and I need Milops, so I I need to event it or coup with it. But if I coup like Egypt now, and it fails. Then he's going to coup Iran next turn, and then he'll be basically, uh, he'll be in a way too good a position in, in the Middle East. But that he'll do that anyway, so I might as well, I guess. Right, could have been worse. Um, okay, very nice hand. Very nice indeed. And he was holding NORAD, I think. Yeah. Wow, beautiful hand. Containment doesn't do much. 
but what's the best? I mean, he could go socialists. Socialists would still hurt here. So I think Marshall is my headline. I've got an ops advantage anyway. I suppose I could make it even bigger if I headline purge, but I feel like I need Marshall to... Oh, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, socialists is not important. I think in turn one. But, uh, but yeah, no. Um, so then maybe purge would have been better. I'd like to hold containment if I can. Yeah, this could be ugly. It is ugly. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, because that denies me access to Egypt as well. If his coup succeeds now in Iran. Didn't see many four ops in the first. It's actually zero in the first turn, so. But now I've got. I come socialist, but it's for a coup. Oh, it's good enough. Okay, then I need to go, this is a shame, then I need to go into Syria, and I need to defend Pakistan. And I need to get to Thailand quickly. Suez is I think Suez is a space card and then Vietnam maybe AR6 or it could be a hold card as well. So, Middle East is looking pretty bad. I mean, could go for Israel, but Arab-Israeli war is still pretty potent. So you're going to fill up Israel. Hmm, alright. That's kind of a relief, actually. Do I want to space? Yes, I think I do. I would like to go into Zaya as well, so maybe mm, Vietnam is not so nice now. But I still think it's okay. I would like to. I mean, if I do this, this isn't great. Uh, because he can just take it with the China card. And we've seen Duck as well. Uh, have we seen Duck? Yeah. Um, yeah. You'd need to use the China card, so... It'll have to work for now. 
Okay, I've got Korean War. What is he holding? Uh, we've seen all the scorings. Uh, we've seen... So he's holding... The eight. second game of the ITSL... Oh, hang on. ITS Grand Slam tournament, Los Angeles. And uh, I got away with the win in the first game. First round. Sorry, uh, I was confused. Do I get my own stream in my, uh, <laughs> in my <laughs> headphones here? Um, all right, so, yeah. So I think he's holding NATO, right? Yeah. And nuclear test ban as well. So plenty of ops. And then we haven't seen Romanian. Do we see Romanian? Uh, no. He's holding that. And independent reds. Yeah. And then there should be like one. Oh, we've seen all the red threes. Warsaw and Comic Con. And yeah. So that's what he's holding NATO. If a test ban. Um. Independent Reds and Romanian. And he knows about containment, US Japan, human intervention, Cambridge Five, Korean, yeah. So I think now containment is a good idea. Because he's got plenty of ops. My hand is very manageable. Hmm. That's too bad. Well, what can I say? Always works. Right, now he's going to go all in on Asia. And he's going to steal Thailand. This is pretty horrible. This is very, very bad. So I will take the opportunity to coup because I can do that. And I need to get into the Middle East. Um, he knows I have specials, so I'll wait for... Oh no, he doesn't. So maybe he'll trigger NATO. Um, let's do a coup with a three-op card. I haven't got any good ones, though. I mean, this one, this is a space card, probably. Okay, let's go with the four up then. But he doesn't. Mm. This means that he could take India as well, which I think he probably will. But then I can go into Japan and I'll be safe. Not safe, but. Well, I mean. But I'm going to have to accept that Asia is going to look pretty bad. There's still, still opportunity for country count, I suppose. Let's see what he does, if I can make up for all his battlegrounds. I mean, I would like to be able to take all of this, but okay, so we'll use UN intervention on Korean War, I think. Because it's historically correct. <laughs> Arab Israeli is um a bit less of a problem, but I'm probably gonna space it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Again, he did not need to have that, right? Well, he already played it. Ah, uh, 13 points. Um, I think this goes to space now, and then we can just enjoy the rest of the turn. He got off to a good start in Asia, but I feel like 13 points is not entirely fair, considering the board state. Oh, he got it back. Okay, so then I do want to go for a rear line. So you're going to hold NATO forever? Probably. But it's okay with... Um, Reckon he'll go into Uruguay now, maybe. Well, Mosin, a bit too late for that. Should I just event this? So as to make sure it doesn't come back. It'll be a red card if it... I mean, can you just use it freely if it comes back? But now South America. If South America happens quickly, then that could be GD already there. Or the Middle East. Oh, yeah, so he's holding on to NORAD, dear life, oh, uh, NATO, dear life. Um, this is five now. Need to protect against, um, uh, what's it called? And then an early a Southeast Asia scoring could also be pretty horrible. Okay, well, actually, Africa could be pretty good here, and I've got Sadat. Do kind of want to, I think I'll start with a bear trap. Spacing is priority. We will bury you. It's not a bad hand. It's not great, but it's not terrible. But Africa, bear trap plus coup in Nigeria plus I could get control fairly quickly if he doesn't have any of the African cards or if he stays in the trap for a bit. Let's hope for that. Hmm. All right. I'll have to deal with that later. He stays in the trap. Beautiful. Okay, we're still going to start with a coup, and we're okay with we're okay with Billy Brandt, surely. But I'm not going to use nuclear sub, so I might as well.
And he's out. Played NATO. I need four ops now. But I also need to hold on to ABM. If he's got decol or something like that, that would be pretty horrible. I reckon I could give him the China card right now. Defcon isn't really important anyway at the moment, and um, yeah, it's okay if he has it. I just don't want to take two turns to fill up Africa. Now, if he has South Africa score, uh, South African arrest, or or Portuguese or something, he can he can mess with me. But if he doesn't, then I get ten points. Yeah, so he's clearly going for that. And he might or he might very well have the the scoring, or he just simply doesn't have any way to stop Africa. We're back in the game. Okay, so he doesn't have the scoring. I think I'll wait with ABM, and then when he goes into Uruguay, or it could be that he's... I, I really can't uh, go... I think we'll do space now. Alright, nice. When he goes into Argentina, I can ABM treat him. Only with the one up as well. Okay, so I need to spend some points getting. Actually, I would like to. Mm. Would like to get five points from how I learned. Would be nice. Then I would have to score Southeast Asia now, and it's three points. But I can't really do. I can't really stop this anyway, South America. So uh, I guess I might as well try and keep the VPs down, and hope that the scoring doesn't come up until later. Just the. Two influence would have given me two VPs there, so that maybe that was unnecessary. I could have waited with the spacing, but then that's two VPs, so it could be a four VP swing, so that was important. Nah, we're okay. A lot of ops. Well, yeah, no, definitely a lot of ops. Glad he was trapped there for a while. Then we'll do this. Even though it does give him an opportunity to coup places, but Africa's been scored, Europe is not in any, any danger. Look at Europe scoring again. Lovely. Ah, uh, okay, what can we do? Defcon is at five, so missile envy is completely safe. Purge is is tempting. I like Missile Envy more. I'm likely to get a red 4-up card, I reckon. Or um, maybe... No, I played Marshall, didn't I? Yeah. So that's gone. Yeah. He... Yeah, nuclear test plan has been played, NATO has been played. 
maybe I'm treaty also, I guess. But yeah, no, I think missile enemy might be nice. If I'm unlucky, it could give me something like alliance. But then I know he doesn't have a four up at least. I think an early Nixon might be prudent as well. <sighs> but South America is obviously my biggest problem right now. Quag is my space card. Billy Brand could be my hold card. I don't seem to have any better, anything better to hold really. Well, so far I'm not completely unhappy with the game. I'm putting up a fight, at least. The board state is in his favour. Uh, but he's not in complete control. And the VPs are looking good. For now. I think it all depends on South America. If, if he gets that scoring off while he's still... while he's in control, or I'm not there, then that could be game-winning. If not, then we might still see final scoring. OAS is interesting here. I, I feel like I want to wait till AR7 with it, but at the same time, I also think that by that time, he will have overprotected all of South America and he won't, won't really make any difference. Mm. I wanted to get that card. Yeah, that's pretty powerful. Since I'm out of... I'm out of Syria as well, right? Yeah. Oh dear. And the Middle East is coming up as well. I have got Sadat, but I would like to just be in Egypt first, if possible. Oh, that's too bad. But then he doesn't have any four ops, at least. And that was a playable card by him, so... I'm just guessing he'll coup Africa now. Or just walk into Libya is also an option. Because now Sadat becomes interesting, because I can play him and then he probably... Well, he'll still be able to take everything. Yeah, yeah. I think that was better, actually. Ten points. What do you know? And Arab-Israeli war is still... But it's in the discard. I feel like I just have to grab Israel. Just to have something there. But then he could also realign me. Uh, plus two. Plus one. Ugh, okay. Um, but I need to be somewhere like I I suppose I could coup I could coup um Lebanon. Not a strong coup. But I'm in the Middle East. And then if he wants to have an ops war for Israel, then we can have that. Not that I have any ops, but... <laughs> no, actually not. That would not be good. And I know he doesn't have a 4 up now, so... If I can take the China card fairly quickly. I mean, I'll take Israel if I can. But I would also like my like like to use... Um, okay, so it's going back in there. Not a strong card. I 
I feel like he doesn't have the scoring if he does that. Because then I reckon he would just have scored it. Or maybe just played China into Israel and gone for control. But he could still realign me out if I don't get out myself. What we could do is we could do this. I'd love to to um, use that for a coup. Because there are plenty of things that need to be cooed. But right now, I feel like that's more important. He could realign Jordan as well. But then it's starting to sort of get into where it it's not likely to work if he only uses three ops. Here starts, comes the coup. Right, decent coup in Zaire. Uh, I am just gonna... I'm gonna steal the China card from him. So I feel like he might want to use it. <coughs> And if he had, if he had South America scoring or Middle East there, I think he would have gone for those scorings rather than start cooing in Africa, maybe. Or he's keen on getting rid of Kitchen before it can be triggered, but it's we're very far from from that. Hmm. Okay, here comes Fidel now for control of central. Again, I feel like if he had the scoring card, that would be a no-brainer. It wouldn't take so long for him to do that. But I also feel like I have to try and realign things. I haven't really got anything to do that with. But I have to give it a try. No. So if he has that scoring, then that's 10 points. But I can only hope that he doesn't. Just hoping that your opponent doesn't have the scorings. It's not going to last for very long, is it? But I think we can tell from from the time he's taking now that he doesn't have that scoring. This map is, uh, there's a lot of red VPs coming very, very soon. But I've got this that I can do, at least. And then I guess I kind of need to coup. Um, it's only one point at the moment, so it's not the end of the world. Yeah, I was worried about... Oh, wow. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is just going to go on, isn't it? But both Sadats so and OAS are extremely important cards to me right now. I could use Sadat, but then he can still realign me. Or he might coup and I can't respond. Yeah, I think Sadat... If I do Sadat, then at least he's not going to be able to realign. But he might coup. 
and it might well work. I feel like we're waiting for a bunch of blue cards as well that we haven't seen yet. Whereas we've seen plenty of red cards. There's still some to go. Actually, we haven't. Well, a few. Mm, yeah. Still Opic, still out there. Chair, still out there, so. Alright, and for the last coup, he's going to go for the four. It ups there, and then I kind of need to go for a coup. Um, no, it's still only one VP. If I leave it, then I might get a coup next turn as well. So I figure... But it's, it's, this is extremely dangerous. There's plenty of very dangerous. But I'm saving VPs by doing this too, even though we're just going to see real lines, aren't we? At least that's a way for me to... Okay, so, blue hand. Um, I control South America. Middle East is very dangerous. But it's not a bad hand. Um, central as well. Um, I'll do what I can with grains to probably fill in South America. But then what do I do about South America? Sorry, I meant fill in the Middle East. But I need to do something about South America as well. Might have to use the China card. Doesn't really help. Pope is decent. Shuttle, of course, could help. I mean, it will definitely stop him from taking control of the Middle East, but I reckon I could stop that some other way, hopefully. I can't believe I'm up 5 VPs looking at the map, but that's about to change. If he hasn't, if he hasn't got any of these scoring cards by now, that that's that's unlikely. Um, but he might just be considering if there's one that he could headline. I mean, because grain sales are still out there, there isn't really anything he can be sure of. the 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 problem is if I draw one of the scoring cards, but then at least I know it's coming. Okay, Brezhnev. Junta. All right. That's excellent. What do we do then? I mean, regardless of where I go, he's going to realign me. Um, I feel like I kind of want to... And then he's going to counter coup as well. But I feel like I kind of want to go maybe here and then coup. Wait, what? No, no, no. Event. Oh, beautiful. That was a uh, very timely six. He might want to coup somewhere else now. Or fill up Brazil. Or he might have Middle East scoring. No. Okay, so he's going for that. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, South America feels stable now. I'm gonna wait with that. Um, I've got a, I've got an opportunity to coup. Ooh, chair just became unplayable. Not unplayable, but became bad. Um, could be holding duck. I'm kind of tempted to play 
five year plan, but it's probably a bad idea. You could still realign the Middle East. I think I might go for a coup in Egypt. Oh! Okay, at least he can't realign me, but now he might win an ops war in Israel. He's got, he's got all the ops, probably. Then I've got Shuttle as a backup weapon against that. Yeah. Um, can I fight him over this? I mean, I'll still be presenceless. I'll have to go. I reckon he's got enough ops. But he's still holding things like, or he might be holding things like voice and puppets. And, uh... What else is out there? <laughs> Alliance, not really going to be a problem. Um, bear trap. Um, but he's he's got plenty of ops, that's for sure. I might just go into Jordan and then play shuttle. I'm also tempted to play chair, but before South America scoring, that might be a real problem, so then I'll have to use the Pope. I mean, I don't strictly need the Pope, I guess, even though I like the Pope. I've got domination in Europe. But I feel like he's got the Ops War there. Now, if he has the scoring card, he will definitely go for control, so I have time to play Shuttle. Hmm, okay. Then I'll just have to play Colonial then to make up for that. Kind of wanted to go into Asia as well. I mean, South Africa, I guess I could leave South Africa open. This is pretty significant. Surely he's not going to let me take Thailand now. And I'm assuming he doesn't have central, so scoring, so I'll, I can play Panama as my AR7. I mean, if I'm spacing anything this turn, I might as well space chair. If I'm spacing one thing. Okay, um, I feel like this is a nice place to be. I feel like Afghanistan might be nice. And I guess maybe Nicaragua, and at least I have presents, and then I can coup places. So, I think it's time to get rid of this. Gave him a pretty decent coup target now. I mean, he's going to get the coup anyway if he wants to. Paraguay is not a bad target as well. Spacing Camp David, alright. He's up there, and I'm going to space check, because I'd rather hold Quag and space a fixed turn. I'd like a headline peak. I feel like that might be a good thing next turn. And then I... Oh... Yeah, that was bad. Should not have done that. 
Then I guess shuttle, I might as well. I'll stop him from taking control. I know it will net me at least a few points. Could have just played it into Israel. Uh, all right, let's see. Now, we still haven't seen cultural, so it's coming up. So I'm curious if I should try and maybe... I'd like to break this, because we know Central is coming up, but we also know Shuttle is coming up. Um, and then both my China cards are gone, so you can then hold the China card for the rest of the game. But again, if I get shuttle, then I can hold the China card for the rest of the game. So that might not be worth it. Let's do this. I do not get cultural, so he's got it. He's also got voice. And anything else horrible? No, and we've seen most of the blue cards now. Uh, he've, also, he's got Brush War, I think. So he's got Cultural, and he, I think he had... I don't think he played Brush War, did he? No. So he's got that. Cultural and Brush War. Um, and Voice. He can space... He can't space Voice, but he can hold it. Have we seen Salt? I think he played Salt for Ops, yes. And we've seen... Oh, we've seen Bear Trap, but we haven't. Um, any of these redrawn cards? Uh, Indo-Pakistani, possibly. No, that's in turn three. And Norad was never triggered. It was played again. No, I think most of these have been played. Korean War, I think I... That wasn't played. So he could, he could have that. Now he's guaranteed to have it. Yeah, he's got Korean War, and then he's got um, a Kennedy as well, and Lone Gunman. Okay. Duck is almost safe. OPEC is a pretty horrible card. Needs to go to space. I've got UN to play with that. Suez is also pretty bad, actually, um, but it's playable. South African is manageable. I don't know. I feel like he's going to get the coup. Um, I could play Duck for the headline, unless he's redrawn. Oh, but then I got UN, so it's... No, hang on. No, that, that would be a Defcon suicide if he if he plays um, uh, Khrushchev. So has he redrawn Khrushchev? No, I just mentioned like five or six cards that he. I mean, he could have theoretically, but it's very it's very unlikely. And if he had, he's quite unlikely to headline it because he wants to coup, right? He's also got. Central scoring, Middle East scoring. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so I figure. I figure like I feel like I know pretty much all his cards. I should probably write them down just quickly.
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards out of nine. What else is out there? Probably mentioned one or two. Uh, there was one he's holding from early war, which was, which one was that? Uh, Korean War. And, the, did we say flower power? Yeah, we did, yeah. And muslin. So I've got cultural, Kennedy, central, Middle East, brush. No, he, no, he scored Middle East. Uh, that, that's gone. Uh, Lone Gunman Voice, Korean. Maybe I don't know any more than that. Maybe I should know some more than that. Mm, I mean, the other option, I think, is Latin. In order to get queuing in Central. That might not be so bad, actually. Is he, he's going to want to go for control there. I think that's safer than... than um, duck. I mean, duck kind of helps him, actually. I mean, it's three VPs for me, but then he can just take Panama without a fight. He can do that now anyway with Lone Gunman, which I should have figured that he would probably have liked. Um, unless he has something much better in mind. So central is the only scoring card that we never saw. So I reckon you would you would just go one VP into one point into Panama and then coup to Africa somewhere. Well, wow. all right. I'll take that. Oh, and I get to... Oh, but we don't have NATO. That'll help slightly with Suez. So now... He will fill up Panama, and then all I can do is try and coup um, to... But then he will just... Uh, I suppose I could realign Cuba as well. That's an option. I mean, because cooing Guatemala right now doesn't do anything, or Haiti. Or I could, I mean, considering his hand, he's got some three ops, but one of them is brush war. But then he will just, if I break Panama, he will just brush that. Uh, where is he going to brush otherwise? Argentina. Probably Argentina. Which could be really bad, but uh, let's hope he fails. Um, and then he's got some, I mean, he's not going to play Kennedy for sure. Cultural, I think he kind of want to use, so... So he hasn't got all that many ops. I could I could force him into an ops war maybe in central. And then of course he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's got two cards that I don't know. Uh that could be big cards. But if anything, this forces him possibly to play things that he would rather like to event. So that's the whole plan there.
brush wall for influence. Well, that at least tells you that he's... I'm thinking he's got Middle East when he's working on Israel simultaneously, like that. This is not going to do anything, so I'm going to keep doing this. So now he played Brush. And here comes Cultural for Influence as well. That is very nice. And then we'll just keep going. What's the worst card here? I mean, Opic is probably worse than Quag, actually. And I'm really glad that I get to get rid of that in turn 7, nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Still a bunch of points for him, but not as bad as it could have been. Uh, that leaves me with a bunch of junk. Arab-Israeli is 5+. Plus. It's actually playable. You haven't seen Camp David, but it's fine. I'm going to have to play it at some point. Mm, yeah, I thought he might have that. Seven points. We're up back up at 13 again. And I have nowhere to go for BPs, really. Um, we should probably get rid of Suez while we can. But I also need to space, and I think I need to space Quag now. Uh, one minute. Alright, uh, Kennedy goes to space. That was expected. And then he can discard voice. Yeah, I should have uh, waited for that. Um... Let's trigger this. I should have thought about uh, one small step there. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I could have done something different. Um, hmm. This isn't great, but I, I feel like I can wait. Because I need to do a coup as well. And then South African will have to... I don't know. We'll see what he... Alright. That helps.
So he did not have Korean War then, did he? Uh, nope, I was wrong about that. Might have happened somewhere here. Did I you and intervene it here? Yeah, maybe. That's why I missed it. I mean, right now, essentially, Central, I think we can fix in the long term. Um, Africa is okay. Europe is okay. Asia is uh, also fixable with country count. South America is worrying if he, I don't know, gets up to something. Oh, I didn't realise he had access to France. Uh, sorry. Uh, I should have seen that. Of course. He was in Algeria. Yeah. I think that worked out okay. Um, I mean, obviously, apart from the VPs, but could have been a lot worse. Boys. Good hand. All right. Now we're talking. I just need to make sure I don't lose Europe now. But I really don't see how that could happen with this hand. Um, Cuban is a nice... Cuban followed by ABM. Oh, Junta actually is better. Followed by uh, ABM and then arms raise points. Uh, Gorbachev goes to space, and then I can fill, back, fill Europe back up and get five points. Okay, I can live with that. Now the question is, where do I... Um, yeah, probably then as well, all right. Mm, not nice. I think I, I needed, that, needed that roll. South America, if he has South America scoring now, oh, that would be depressing. I can still ABM treat my way out of it. The fact that he headlined Portuguese there signals Africa scoring a little bit. So I probably need to get back my domination as quickly as I can. But I feel like uh, DEFCON might be my only way here, so I'm not. I'm never going to give him back the China card, and then we'll just have to hope. CIA is sadly not in the game anymore, uh, but we've we've got all the others in the deck. I think five-year plan. No, still in the deck. Duck is out, but we've got plenty of Defcon cards left. Taking back Venezuela, that's predictable. Okay, so then I have to go... Uh, I have to take back a bunch of stuff. And then I would like to know to do something that messes with him, but I don't really know what that would be. I need to keep hold of Nigeria. You can just go to Botswana now, and then I'm in trouble. Then I guess I'll have to ABM Angola instead of uh, South America, but I would like to get into South America. Cuban would have been nice in the sense that I could have uh, maybe started queuing these places, and then... But then he would just have removed it, but then I... Could, yeah, he, he probably would have removed it pretty early. Yeah, I feel like that says... Uh, 
Africa scoring, but I have to, or you might think I have it, but I, I have to um, get into Botswana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I should have done that. Um, I feel like if he has... I don't know what's worse. <laughs> um, certainly Asia scoring is worse. So let's go and fill up that. But I'm pretty sure he's got Africa. And he's going to play it right now. All right. It's fine. Oh, no. There we go. Uh, getting my hopes up there. Then I have to score this. Because we're in War Games territory. Oh, four fucking VPs. And then I have to coup, but now we could... Ooh, actually, yeah, this is interesting. Now I don't really have to... But I still have... I have to get the VPs from the coup in order to be able to get down below 10 VPs. <laughs> so even if I do... Well, I can't get any VPs from space, no. can't get any VPs from anything. Even if I get Kitchen, it's only two. doesn't help. But I feel like it's one of those times where you kind of should go for... Oh, actually, this is what I could do. Not place influence. Play the event. Even though this, this could be very damaging. Oh, and also, if I leave Defcon up, he's just going to coup Nigeria, and then he's going to get the, the mill ops anyway, and then... It won't matter that I have arms race. So it doesn't make any sense. No, I'm just going to have to gamble that he doesn't have um, war games, which he might well have. <sighs> no. Now the question is, no, I have to get below war games, and I actually don't, even with that. That's a shame. But at least we won't see it until next turn. There might be other ways for me to get some milops. Ugh, still gets to discard. Hope. Yeah, that's okay. I get war games. I get East European unrest. I get solidarity, but the Pope is not happening. Uh, I feel like East Europe is not really gonna. Europe victory is not happening. Um, Glasnost is not ideal. <sighs> I think we're spacing that. Iran Iraq war is very uh, unlikely, but it's probably worth a try. Well, I mean, if I'm head if I'm playing that for the event anyway, then I might as well headline it. I guess this is not a great hand. Mm. Where do I want to go? They're both as unlikely. Iraq is slightly stronger. <laughs> oh my god. But this is one of those times where you feel like I I get an incredible roll and then you realise it's not really gonna make any difference.
By the way, someone told me that my um, microphone is uh, only coming out of the left speaker. So, I don't know what that's about. I've checked all the settings, couldn't find anything that looked weird. Um, so, I don't know. I uh, might look into that further, but I don't think I have time today. Right, bad coup, at least. Uh, okay, can I play war games safely? Yes, I can. Well, I mean, Salt could come back, I guess. But he's got... I think we'll start with this. No, because I need to do a lot of things at the same time. No, it should be safe. It's on five. If he gets any scoring, it's going to... But then he also has to get sold, so... If you get salt, you could also salt for OPEC. That would be pretty good. GG. Sorry, gotta go. What? Yeah, but also, how could that be GG? Um, sorry, gotta go. Okay. Um... I guess something might have happened. No idea, but um, okay, I will take that win. Not a very undeserved. Very undeserved. Uh, yeah, don't know what to say. I would have lost this game. Most likely. I guess, I mean, depending on... I mean, this hand is not great, and so if I got a really great hand in the next turn, I'm holding the China card... Defcon is a possibility, of course, but also, like, I might be able to... I mean, this is going to be six points, but I might be able to get back Africa domination. I might be able to stop this domination. Uh, I might be able to um, even out South America. I might be able to get uh, uh, stop this domination. So there's, uh, there's things I can... It's already stopped. There's things I can do. Um, but he's he's up five points. He's likely to get like maybe. Well, South America scoring is the the one thing that could get him more points or salt if he salts for OPEC. Um, but yeah, I would have needed a pretty good hand in the in the next turn. Uh, then th there's still plenty of like we haven't seen tear down or cal or terrorism. Um, there's a possibility of a DEFCON situation. Uh, Grains went in turn six, so that could have come back as well. So there's uh, there are, there are some. I mean, the DEFCON is real, uh, but apart from that, I I don't know. I don't think it would have uh, gone uh, particularly well. Um, but that's it then. Uh, I guess I technically it's going to look like I beat Michael Striker. I didn't really. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> Thanks for watching.